cleared. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There shouldn't be any problems whatsoever, but just in case, remember, our duty here is under all circumstances to be peaceful, to de-escalate, if at all possible, okay? We're not street thugs, okay? That's the enemy. They're gonna check your weapons, make sure they're clear, breach is open, and then you can pass through to the old officer. I'm not gonna hold your weapon. If you'll just rack it for me and show me it's unloaded. Thank you, sir. Yes, that's correct. It is empty. Full slide. All right. No, man. No, I agree. And just for clarity, this is being done to anyone that's attending the front. There's a, there's a checkpoint on the other side. Between the bikes. And I know you don't believe in America, you don't believe in rights, but we're up here exercising our First and Second Amendment rights. Yeah, I know, if you're communist, you don't agree with that. And I think your signs suck! So, the white people standing here today, standing up on behalf of our people, are amongst the few that have the testicular fortitude to stand for our people. Every time someone stands up and says something pro-white in this country, it's called hate, it's called racism. We stand for our people. We stand on behalf of white interests in this country. The globalist and capitalist system desires for our people and all peoples to become driven from their homeland for workers to become interchangeable cogs, producers and consumers, but not human beings. The open borders that you promote is exactly what the Koch brothers want. The Koch brothers, Wall Street, bankers, they desire open borders. Because as long as the capitalists have an infinite supply of scab labor, Workers can never organize. The difference between the Republicans and Democrats is minuscule. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump advance the same interests of the bourgeoisie. We should keep our country nice and clean by getting trash like you out of here. Oh, come on. Is that it? Is that all you've got? Your message is so confusing and abstract. And it's difficult to comprehend sometimes. So I hope you all have a good afternoon and a good evening. Well, we go out and have some fun in your town tonight. I'm working with us in here. I'm doing ice cream. Jewish people constantly tell you how they've been persecuted. They tell you why, how, and how badly they've been persecuted. But they don't tell you why they were persecuted. Why they've been kicked out of every country in America all the way back to the beginning of time. Every country in the world, rather. 
And then you want to sit here and preach to us about how fantastic they are. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Maybe you commies because you know everything can confirm that. I've just been told they've been kicked out of 109 countries. Is that accurate? All the way back to the beginning of time? I'm sure they were kicked out of 109 countries because they're outstanding and stellar people, huh? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, like I said. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you for honoring our First Amendment right. And hail victory! Hail victory! But if communities want to be separate, they have that right. Bump stop. They're trying to outlaw the bump stocks. How would, uh, how would a bump stock help you in a self-defense situation? It helps you reload faster. Currently, we have essentially an anarcho-tyranny where the capitalist class is in charge of the police, is in charge of the courts, is in charge of the private prison system and things like that. So it's important for us to identify that these institutions have really been seized um, away from the people and concentrated in the hands of capital. Um, I wouldn't say that we've taken a page from Donald Trump in any way, shape, or form. Um, we like some of the things that he does for the country and we dislike a lot of the other things. You know, we don't agree with his uh, warmongering over in Syria and some of those things. Um, but on the, on the other hand, you know, we do believe in uh, stopping illegal immigration. And I think most Americans do and that's why he was elected. But uh, to classify us as Trump supporters would be incorrect.